Adding a blank line before your table is easy. The word's behavior can depend on where the table is located in the document. In this quick tip, I show you how to make Word behave as you want. If you want to place a blank line before a table, exactly how you do so depends on where the table is located in the document. Well, that may sound strange, but it seems to be the way that Word just works. Let me show you what I mean. You'll note that I have two empty tables in this document. I also have non-printing characters displayed so that you can easily see Word's behavior. This table is the very first thing in the document. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Home to move to the upper left cell of that table, and we're right at the very beginning of the document. Now, watch what happens when I press Enter. Word placed a blank line before the table. This only works, though, if the table is the first thing in the document. Take a look at the second table right down here. I'm going to place the insertion point at the left of the very first cell of this table, just like we did in the previous table. But when I press Enter, Word simply adds a new paragraph within the first cell of the table. To place a new blank line before this table, you must move to the end of the paragraph just before the table, and then press Enter. You aren't actually pressing Enter in the table, you are pressing it just before the table. Now the upshot of this behavior is that if you want a new paragraph within the first cell of the table, and the table is at the very beginning of the document, you can't get it by pressing Enter or any other combination of Enter, such as Alt plus Enter or Control plus Enter. They just don't behave that way. There are actually two ways that you can add the paragraph into the first cell of the table. I'm going to go right back up here, and I'm going to delete that so you can see that the table is at the very beginning of the document. The first method is to just go ahead and copy a paragraph mark and then paste it into that first cell. So for instance, if I go down here and I select this paragraph mark and press Control C, it's now been copied to the clipboard. I can go back up into that paragraph and if I press Control V, you can see that it placed that paragraph mark right within the cell like we wanted it to. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z to get rid of that paragraph mark that we just added so that I can show you the second approach, which involves positioning the insertion pointer in the first cell, just like you can see, and then I go ahead and I press Enter like we did earlier in this quick tip. Just as before, this adds the blank line before the table. Now all I have to do is press the down arrow once, so I'm within that table, and now I can press Enter again, and it places that paragraph mark within the cell just like I want. Now I can go back up to that original paragraph at the very beginning and press delete to get rid of it. So there are the two ways that you can add a new paragraph within the first cell of a table at the beginning of your document. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.